Hello learners, we are moving to forms of business organization. In this session, you will learn concept of business organization, meaning of sole proprietorship, its features, merits and limitations. Then we can also learn suitability of sole proprietorship form of business organization. Whatever business activity one may take up, he has to bring together various resources like men, money, materials, machine and technology to carry out that activity very successfully. Not only that, these resources are to be put into action in a systematic manner to attain the objectives of business. Let us take the example of a rice mill. What all things the owner of that rice mill should do? He should acquire a land at first. Then he should construct a building in that land. Then he should buy machines and install it in that building. Without laborers, no organization can function. So, owner should employ workers or laborers. Then processing of paddy should be done in order to produce rice. After the production of rice, owner can sell it to the consumers. So various activities are done by the owner of every business organization. Thus to produce rice from paddy, you need to assemble resources like land, building, machinery and labor. Then he should put resources in a systematic way. Then only it becomes possible to produce rice. After that, owner can sell it to the consumers in order to earn profit. So, in order to earn profit, so many activities owner should do. Thus, to carry out any business and achieve its objective of earning profit, it is required to bring together all resources and put it into action in a systematic way. Owner should coordinate various activities of that organization and control various activities. This arrangement is known as business organization. Have you ever thought who brings the required capital and who takes the responsibility of arranging various resources and who will put these resources into action and coordinate and control the activities of every organization in order to earn various profit. So who is doing this activity? Yes, it is the owner of every business unit. If you look around, you will find that a small grocery shop is owned and run by a single individual who performs all these activities like collecting money, acquiring the building, placing required laborers and running the business. So all these activities are performed by one individual that is the owner of that particular shop. In big business, it may not be possible for a single person to perform all these activities. So in such cases, two or more persons join hands and they will bring their money and manage the business properly. After managing the business, they will get profit and that will be shared as per the agreement. Thus, business organization may be owned and managed by a single individual or group of individuals. So, if it is a single individual owned business, it can be called as a sole proprietorship and if it is formed by a group of individuals, it can be in any form like partnership or in the form of joint stock company. Such arrangement of ownership and management is termed as 
forms of business organization we have various forms of business organization like sole proprietorship partnership joint hindu family business cooperative society and joint stock company but in this session we will study in deep about sole proprietorship here is an example gopal runs a grocery shop in the local market he buys goods from the wholesale market and sell it to the customers as per the requirement by doing so he earns some profit he had started his business 2 years ago by investing rupees 1 lakh which he had borrowed from his friend today he is running his business successfully earning a good profit and has been able to pay back the borrowed money he has employed two persons to help him in this shop and gopal is the owner of this sole proprietorship form of organization see how a person can manage a business by arranging all the resources and uh, he can earn a good profit so you can also think about such a form of business organization now coming to the meaning of sole proprietorship it is a form of business organization where one person is the owner of such business organization sole means single and proprietorship means ownership so single ownership that is a form of sole proprietorship a form of business organization in which a single individual owns and manages the business takes the profit and bears the losses is known as sole proprietorship form of business organization so managed by one person owned by one person profit fully shared by him that is sole proprietorship you must have seen many more such business organization in and around your locality so please make a list of such concerns engaged in different types of businesses here i have given you an example of supreme dry cleaners near my house where it is owned by one person so you can also find out such organizations so that you can study more about this type of organization here is a definition of sole proprietorship a type of business unit where one person is solely responsible for providing the capital and bearing the risk of the enterprise and for the management of the business this is a definition made by jl hansen so from the figure you can identify one person is managing about the building materials the output which are the variety of products that he should make like that everything should be decided by one person thus sole proprietorship form of business organization refers to a business enterprise exclusively owned managed and controlled by a single person with all authority responsibility and risk now we have to study the characteristics of sole proprietorship till this time we understood the meaning of sole proprietorship one by one we can go into details of characteristics first characteristic single ownership the sole proprietorship form of business organization has a single owner who will start the business by bringing together all the resources another characteristic no separation of ownership and management owner himself manages the business as per his own skill and intelligence so 
one person is owning that business with his limited intelligence and skill he will manage the business that is another feature of sole proprietorship then less legal formalities if you want to start a business like sole proprietorship is there any much legal formality in that yes you all know that there is no much legal formality if you want to start a small shop you can start it at any time according to the availability of the resources that is space and materials so that is the feature that is the formation and operation of a sole proprietorship form of business organization does not involve any legal formalities thus its formation is very easy and simple another feature or characteristic that is no separate entity business unit does not have an existence or entity separate from the owner the businessman and the business enterprise are the one and the same that is if a businessman is not well and he is deciding to close that business means there will not be another person to manage that that existence of that organization mainly depends on the owner and the businessman is responsible for everything that happens in the sole proprietorship form of business unit another characteristic no sharing of profit and loss a sole proprietor enjoys the profit alone at the same time the entire loss is also borne by him so he is the sole person who has to suffer the loss that is occurring for his business unit no other person is there to share the profits and losses of the sole proprietorship form of business organization so the owner alone bears the risk and reaps the profit another important feature of this form is unlimited liability this is considered as a demerit also that is the liability of the sole proprietor is unlimited in case of loss if his business assets are not enough to pay the business liabilities his personal property can also be utilized to pay off the liabilities of the business so if any business is running at a loss then in the case of sole proprietorship form of organization he has to utilize his own personal property owned property to clear the debts of the business so this is a demerit and because of this demerit we have formed other forms of organization in order to rectify this demerit of the sole proprietorship form of organization another characteristic one man control the controlling power of the sole proprietorship business always remains with the owner he runs the business as per his own will he has to make arrangement for the building he has to manage the workers he has to make arrangement for money so everything is controlled by this person owner that is the sole proprietor now let us move to the merits of sole proprietorship from the characteristics itself you can easily identify some of the merits as well as the demerits anyway we have to give special attention to merits first of all first merit it is easy to form and wind up a sole proprietorship form of organization no legal formalities are required to be observed by this organization similarly business can be wound up at any time if the proprietor decides so whenever you want you can start a sole proprietorship form of organization similarly if you are not well or if you are not able to run it you can go for another form or you can wind up such an organization 
So, that is a merit of this form of organization. Then, quick decision and prompt action as a merit. Nobody interferes in the affairs of sole proprietorship form of organization. So, the owner can take quick decisions on various issues relating to the business. So, if decisions are taken quickly, then you can act promptly. That will help in the efficient running of organization. In the case of big business organization, we are lacking this quality, this merit that is, we have to discuss with so many other partners or members so that decisions will be delayed. If the decisions are delayed means actions cannot be taken in a fast manner. So that efficiency in the attainment of good will not be so perfect. Then as a merit you can also say it is a direct motivation. In sole proprietorship form of business organization entire profit goes to whom? To the owner. Owner can reap the profit and this motivates the proprietor to work hard and run the business efficiently. Then as a merit you can say flexibility in operation. It is very easy to effect changes as per the requirements of business. Expansion of business activity also does not require many formalities in the sole proprietorship form of organization because one man is deciding, okay, I want to expand my activities. So, I will form my own branches. He can take decisions quickly and he can act quickly. It has flexibility in operation. Then, as a merit, you can include Maintenance of business secrets. Business secrets are known only to the proprietor. He is not required to disclose any information to others unless and until he himself decides. And he is not bound to publish his business accounts. In the case of other forms of business organization, it is mandatory to publish business accounts. So, in the case of sole proprietorship, as he is not publishing his accounts, it can be in the form of a secret. Then, personal touch as a merit. Since the proprietor himself handles everything relating to business, it is very easy to maintain good personal contact with the customers and employees. By knowing the likes and dislikes, taste of the customers, proprietor can adjust his operations accordingly. Why you are going to one particular shop that you like? Definitely, the dealing of that particular owner or the salesperson will be very good. That will attract you as a customer. So, if you are the owner of that business and if you know the likes and dislikes of the customers, definitely customers will come to your organization if you are operating according to their wills, according to their desire. Now, let us proceed to the limitations of sole proprietorship. Every firm will have its own demerits or limitation. First demerit. Limited resources. Yes, only one person is managing the business. So, the resources of a sole proprietor are always limited. Being the single owner, it is not always possible to arrange sufficient funds from his own sources. If you are going to a bank for getting money, you will find it difficult as you cannot show more assets to them. If you are a sole proprietor, then because of the limited fund, you will not be able to expand your business activities. Similarly, you will not be able to manage too many persons. There is a limit to the number of persons a person can manage. That is known as span of control. 
So, those limitations are there in the case of sole proprietorship form of organization. Then, as a limitation, you can include lack of continuity. The continuity of a sole proprietorship form of organization is linked with the life of the proprietor, capacity of the proprietor to run the business. So, if the owner is not interested or if something happens to the life of the owner, then such a form of business organization will come to an end. Illness, death, insolvency of the owner will lead to closure of the business. Thus, continuity of business is uncertain. Coming to unlimited liability as a limitation. In the eyes of law, the proprietor and the business are one and the same. So, personal properties of the owner can be used to meet business obligations. And personal properties should be used to meet the debts of the firm. Because business and owner are the same, are one and the same. Sole proprietorship form of organization is not suitable for large scale businesses. Then, one person is managing the business and he may not be an expert in managerial field. So, limited managerial expertise as a limitation of this form. Always sole proprietorship form of organization suffers from lack of managerial expertise. That is one person will have to decide how much he should purchase, how much he should Purchase raw materials, how much finance he should collect, how much materials he should sell in this month. Like that so many activities should be managed by one person and he may not be an expert in all these activities. Now, you must have a clear idea about Gobal's business and its merits and limitations. Take the example of any other sole proprietorship form of business organization of your locality and analyze its activities and try to find out whether the points discussed above are applicable to it or not. This knowledge will help you to remember the facts about sole proprietorship form of business organization in a better way. Now coming to the suitability of sole proprietorship. We have studied the meaning merits, limitations and features. So, we should identify whether this is suitable to all type of organization. The sole proprietorship is suitable where the market is limited. That is localized market and customers give importance to personal attention. In such cases, this form is most suitable. It is also suitable where capital requirement is less and risk involved is limited. It is suitable for the production of goods which involve manual skill. Example, handicrafts, filigree work, tailoring, hair cutting, etc. So, dear learners, you have learned concept of business organization meaning and characteristics of sole proprietorship, merits and limitations of sole proprietorship and suitability of sole proprietorship form of business organization. Hope you understood this very well. Thank you.